Prince Harry and Meghan Duchess of Sussex issued a scathing response to a second apology penned by UK columnist Jeremy Clarkson over a piece in which he declared he hated Meghan on a cellular level. Clarkson caused outrage with comments, published in a column in The Sun, in which he dreamed of the day Meghan would be paraded naked in public, while people yelled shame and threw excrement at her. Watch the video above, Harry and Meghan respond to apology stream the world's best reality, entertainment and true crime shows for free on 7 Bravo on 7 Plus Clarkson previously insisted his words were a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones and admitted he had put his foot in it. In a new message on Instagram on Monday, Clarkson wrote, I really am sorry. All the way from the balls of my feet to the follicles on my head. This is me putting my hands up. It's a Maya couple with bells on, the TV personality wrote. Clarkson explained he was in a hurry when he wrote the piece in question and had pressed send without rereading it. And then, when the column appeared the next day, the landmine exploded, he wrote. Clarkson said he felt sick when he realized what he had done and admitted it was horrible. In his apology, Clarkson also said he had emailed Harry and Meghan in California on Christmas Day to apologize personally. Shortly afterwards, Harry and Meghan responded with a statement shared via the Sussex's favored journalist Omid Scobie. On December 25, 2022, Mr. Clarkson wrote solely to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. The contents of his correspondence were marked private and confidential, the statement read. While a new public apology has been issued today by Mr. Clarkson, what remains to be addressed is his long-standing pattern of writing articles that spread hate rhetoric, dangerous conspiracy theories and misogyny, the spokesman said. Unless each of his other pieces were also written in a hurry, as he states, it is clear that this is not an isolated incident shared in haste, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. Clarkson's column became the most complained about in the history of the Independent Press Standards Organization. Over the last 30 years I have written very nearly 5,000 newspaper and magazine columns, so it was inevitable that one day I'd do a Harry Kane and Sky one of the damn things," Clarkson wrote in his lengthy new apology. Which is what happened with the piece about Meghan. So can I move on now? Not sure. It's hard to be interesting and vigilant at the same time. You never hear peals of laughter coming from a health and safety seminar. But I promise you this, I will try. He concluded. For more engaging royal content, visit Seven Life on Facebook.